What's important when you're trying to determine whether or not to vaccinate your children is that you're not giving them a license to be sexually active and you're not telling them there is no chance of getting cervical cancer or having genital warts. The fact is, we're going to decrease it. We're not going to do away with that possibility. The other factor that we never think about is how do these young women get exposed to the papillomavirus? Well, it's through intercourse. And even if they waited till they got married to be sexually active, if their partner has had sex before, it, it, and if their partner has had sex before, then there's a great chance that they will then be exposed to the papillomavirus. So the goal isn't to say, go ahead and become sexually active. The goal is to say, let's immunize you now. Let's get those antibodies. So when you do become sexually active, you'll be protected from those viruses. So you won't risk having an abnormal pap smear, cervical cancer, or genital warts. Even though we've spoken earlier about the role of condoms and how it will only provide partial protection for the papillomavirus, even with the vaccine, we are still encouraging all women and all men to use barrier methods. And in this case, either a female condom or a male condom. It's not only going to protect you from other subtypes of the papillomavirus, it's also going to protect you from HIV or AIDS.